Hey everyone, welcome back to Skill Cup, where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. Today, we've got something truly special for you an exclusive deep dive into the ultimate Bing AI playbook. That's right, we're going to unlock the genius level potential of Bing AI by revealing 17 mind blowing prompts that will take your interactions with Bing AI to the next level. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Prompt number one would be image creation. We're going to use the best prompt formula to generate an amazing image using Bing AI. Don't worry, I'll paste the prompts in the description so you can review them. All right, so the prompt formula for image creation is really simple. First off, you will have to give the general idea of how the image should be. Image featuring a serene mountain landscape at sunrise. Then you will include the specific details like snow-capped peaks, reflective lake, shades of pink, etc. Then you will set the scope of the image which will be realistic in this one. And here we are giving flexibility to the AI to feel free and enhance the image. At the end, we're giving technical details like aspect ratios. So that's the simple formula for image generation prompt. Let's go and test it out. And there you go, it has generated amazing images for you. As you can see, all the description is here. The reflective lake, the sunrise, the pinkish and orange shade in the clouds, the snowy cape mountains, everything's here. I think I'm pretty satisfied with the images that it has generated. Prompt number two is for people like me who can't grasp really complicated concepts easily. Using prompt number two, you can grasp really complex concepts very easily, like you were just a sixth grader. So here's the prompt for it. So the prompt formula for this one is really simple. You just have to specify the topic, which is quantum entanglement. Then you have to set the scope like I'm a sixth grader, so explain it suitable for a sixth grader. This will explain it in really simple words. And then you can tweak with it further include key principles, relationships between internal particles. So let's go and test it out. As you can see, quantum entanglement is a very strange and amazing thing that happens in the world of tiny particles like atoms and electrons. These particles are so small that we can't see them with our eyes, but we can use special tools and math to study them. As you can see, the English is really plain and there is no technical terminologies in this one. So you can grasp a really complex quantum entanglement concept really easily. I use this a lot. Problem number three is all about quiz. You're gonna be asking the AI to be your personal tutor. So the prompt for this one would be, I'm studying for computer science exam for grade eight. I want to test my knowledge about C++ programming language and arrays. I want you to ask me a question. I will attempt to answer that and then you will check whether I answered correctly or not. So the prompt format for this one is really simple. You just have to specify what you're studying and what is the level of study. Then you will specify the topics about which you want your knowledge to be tested. Let's go and test this out. So it has generated a detailed question for me. Write a C++ program to find the largest and smallest elements of an array of integers. You can use any name and size for the array. But in this video, I'm not going to be doing that because it's going to take a lot of time for that. So I'm just going to answer incorrectly. And as you can see, it says that it's not a compiler, but I answered incorrectly and my answer is incomplete. So that's it. That's how you can make AI your own personal tutor and generate quizzes and prepare for exams. Prompt number four is all about generating ideas. Here's the prompt. Generate ideas for title of a new smartphone app that prompts productivity, but must operate offline without internet connectivity in the style of modern apps. Prompt formula for this one is really simple. You just have to tell it what is actually the idea is for. So the idea is for a title, and then you will have to provide the subject, which is a new smartphone app. And then you can just shortly describe the app, which is it prompts productivity, but must operate offline without it and then connectivity. And then in the end, you will state a reference, like how you want your idea to be. So I want it in the style of modern apps. So let's go and run this out. As you can see, the output is right here and the titles are really modern app style, focus, Offline, Zen, Spark, Boost. I really like the titles. They're really Gen Z type. Prompt number five is all about generating business ideas. Let's say you have X amount of investment and you just don't know where to invest it. Don't worry, AI is here for you. So the prompt for this one would be, 
to create a creative and viable business idea in the sustainable technology sector with an initial investment of $80,000. Focus on innovative solutions that contribute to environmental sustainability, consider current market trends, target a broad audience, and ensure the proposed idea has the potential for profitability and growth. Provide detailed insights into how the investment will be allocated across different aspects of the business. The prompt idea for this one is really simple. You just have to tell the technology and the sector, the niche in which you want your business to be, which is sustainable technology sector in this one. Then you will state the initial investment that you have, which is $80,000 on this one. And the rest of it is all the details. The more details you provide, the more tailored the idea would be for you. Then you will want something like a report in which it will describe how the expenses would be and how it will allocate the money that you are investing into it. So let's go and test this out and check what happens. Alright, so the output is here. EcoCharge, a profitable device that uses solar power, charger, and electronic gadgets. It even states how much it will allocate to each section and it even generated the revenue and the profit the business could potentially generate. Problem number six is all about connecting ideas. And you must wonder why we want to connect ideas. Well, if you want to invent something and you want to do literature review, then you would do something like you would connect your idea with an existing idea and then you would compare the shared qualities and what differs both of your ideas. So the problem for this one would be to read a detailed report outlining the shared concepts and connections between the Resident Evil movie and the Resident Evil game franchise and so on. But the basic formula is really simple. You just have to state idea number one and idea number two and then you have to ask it how you want it to connect. In this case, we'll be asking similarities in themes, characters, plot elements, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and run this out and check what is the output. All right, so it has generated a really comprehensive output and I'm really not going to be reading all of this right now. So that's it. You can just try this out and check and read it for yourself. I will attach the prompts in the description of the video. All right, so problem number seven is all about spelling and grammar. There might be a scenario where you have to submit an article. You want to check whether the punctuation is right, whether the grammar is good, whether the spellings are right. So for that, this prompt comes in handy. The prompt for this one would be Check the spelling and grammar in the following passage and provide corrections as needed. Ensure proper punctuation, grammar, and accurate spelling throughout the text. Make sure to list out the corrections at the end. And here's the passage. So the prompt formula for this one is really simple. You just have to tell the AI to check the spelling and grammar. And you can further specify the proper punctuation, grammar, and accurate spelling. And at the end, you could do something like make sure to list out the corrections at the end. At the passage provided in this one, I intentionally left out some typos to test this out. So let's go and test this out. So here's the output. This is the corrected passage. And these are the changes that it made to the last incorrect and filled with typo passage. Prompt number eight is all about generating assays. So the prompt for this one would be, it's a quite lengthy prompt. So I'm just going to describe the formula for this one. The formula is really simple. You just have to specify the topic. So the topic for this one would be impact of climate change on biodiversity in marine ecosystems. Then you will set the focus and scope. Focus on the role of the renewable energy sources in mitigating climate changes, considering both their environmental and economic implications. Then you will provide some guidelines like support your arguments with the relevant data and examples. And then you will set the target audiences, which is high school students. The more detail you provide, the more detail the assay would be for you. So let's go and run this ad. As you can see, the output is right here. So the essay is quite lengthy. I'm not going to read it all for you guys. You can check it out when you test it for yourself. Now, prompt number nine is something really cool. What we're going to do in prompt number nine is we're going to check whether the asset that we just generated is the best one because we want to improve our writings. So prompt number nine is all about improving writing. So let's go. The prompt for this one would be 
review the above essay as a Harvard professor, providing detailed feedback on its strengths and weaknesses. Consider the aspects such as clarity, coherence, grammar, and overall writing style. Offer constructive criticism and highlight areas for improvement, focusing for both content and presentation. So the prompt formula for this one is really simple. You just have to tell the AI who it should be acting as, which is Harvard professor for this one. Then you have to specify the aspects that you want it to be critique about. Clarity, coherence, grammar, etc. Let's go and check out the output. Alright, so the output is here. The strengths are here and the weaknesses are quite a lot. And it even provided with suggestions and resources. So I hope you get the point how you can improve your writing with prompts. Alright, so the tenth prompt that we're going to cover is to summarize anything, quite literally anything. As Bing is connected to the internet, you can just provide the link and ask it to summarize that. You can even summarize the above generated essay for you. But for this video, we'll be testing Bing's capability of connection with the internet. So the prompt for this one would be, I've provided a link to the article and then I have asked summarize the article for me. And that's it. Just hit enter and you will see the output. And there you have it. Now you can summarize anything over the internet within a minute. Prompt number 11 is for those who were busy and want their email system to be automated. Yes, prompt number 11 is about generating responses for your emails. So the prompt for this one would be, write a reply to this email for my client. I want to tell them that I have a vacant time this weekend and I'm available on Friday and Saturday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And here's the message from my client. So that's it. That's the prompt formula for this one. You just have to state the message that you got from your client and you just have to state the general gist of your response and it will generate the response for you. So let's go and test it out. There you go. It has generated the response for you. Dear Mr. Ballet, thank you for your email and your interest in meeting with me. I appreciate your initiative and your willingness to collaborate. And here it states that I am available on Friday and Saturday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Please let me know which day and time works best for you. So the generated response is really accurate and nice. I'm pretty satisfied with this one. Now I can just mail this to my client. In prompt number 12, we'll be generating cover letters and resumes. I know it's quite a headache to write cover letters. So let's do this through AI. So the prompt for this one would be, the prompt formula for this one would be, you just have to state your job title, which is web developer, and the company where you're applying. Then you have to emphasize on your qualifications, which is full stack web developer in my case. And then you have to specify your expertise which are in Next.js 14. Then you have to showcase your achievements, what you have been working on and what you did work on in your last job, which is an e-commerce store or some mini social media web app. That's the prompt formula for this one. The rest of the prompt is all about details. As I always say, the more detailed your prompt is, the more detailed the response will be for you. So let's go and test this out. Alright, so here's the output, here's the cover letter, which is quite lengthy. I'm not going to read this one. So let's go jump to the next prompt. Prompt number 13 is for those who encounter writer block. Writer block is something which you encounter while you're writing and you just got stuck and you don't know what to write next and your mind just goes blank. For those who encounter this state, the writer's block, we've got the cure to the writer's block. The prompt for this one would be, first off, you will provide your earlier writing, which is this one, and then you will state, Continue writing the next paragraph for the essay matching my writing style and voice. This will start generating the next paragraph and the rest of the part of the essay. Let's go hit enter and test it. So the output is right here and it states possible next paragraph could be something like this. Prompt number 14 is for those busybodies who don't have the time to explore different websites and research for something. For example, I'm a mobile gamer and I want a new mobile for my gaming. I would have to go through different websites. But don't you worry, we've got the perfect prompt for it. And through this prompt, we can research, collect data and analyze it as well. So the prompt for this one would be, I'm a mobile gamer, I want to purchase a new gaming mobile. Research the, research the best gaming mobile under 900. Create a table with top three options, having columns, name, make, 
price, processor, and readings. Elaborate a little on which mobile I should purchase according to your findings. So the brand formula for this one is really simple. You just have to state what you want, what is your budget, and on the basis of what you want to choose your phone. That's it. And it will generate the detailed report for you. Let's go and test this out. As you can see, the output is right here. It has generated a table for me with the top three gaming mobile phones. And it even described why should I buy which phone. Problem number 15 is about code generation. For those who are really not good at programming but still need to code, can use this one. This prompt is helpful for programmers and non programmers as well. So the prompt for this one would be write me the code for bubble sort in JavaScript. Make sure it's a standalone function. So the formula for this one is really simple. You just have to state out what you want and in which language do you want it. And that's it. Let's go and test it out. All right, so the output is here and the code is really nice. And it even provided the detailed comments and how the code works. I'm really satisfied with the result. Now, problem number 16 is about debugging the code. Let's say your code isn't working properly and you just can't seem to find the bug. Don't worry, we've got the perfect prompt for you. So the prompt for this one would be debug my JavaScript code and enlist the changes made at the end. Here's my code. It's quite simple. You just have to give your function and ask it to debug your code. Let's go and test this out. All right, so the output is here. It has enlisted what I need to do to make my code work. And it even provided the corrected version of the code, which is really great. This is quite fascinating. Last but certainly not least, problem number 17 is for those who want to learn anything in a certain amount of time. For example, in one month's time, you want to learn something. So this one is for you. So the prompt would be something like, develop a comprehensive and efficient study plan to master full stack web development within one month. Include a breakdown of daily or weekly learning objectives, recommend resources and, and practical exercises, consider incorporating various learning modalities such as reading materials, online courses, interactive exercises, and practical applications. Ensure the plan is realistic, adaptable, and aligned with my preferred learning style. Provide suggestions for effective time management and strategies to enforce and apply to acquire knowledge, and so on. The prompt formula for this one is really simple. You just have to state what you want to learn and what is the time limit of your learning. And the rest of the prompt is all details. And as I always say, the more details you put into it, the more tailor made the response will be for you. So let's go and test this out. So the output is generated. As you can see, it has created a table for every week from one to four weeks for the whole month. And it has set the objectives for the week and a the theme for the week. In the first week, we'll be doing front-end basics. In the second week, we'll be doing front-end advanced. In the third week, we'll be doing back-end basics. And in the fourth week, we'll be doing back-end advanced. It even planned out every day. Week one, day one, week one, day two, week one, day three. And the topic of the day, JavaScript, CSS, HTML the task that we need to do for each day of the whole month. It has generated the whole schedule for you. I absolutely love this response. This is what I mean that when you put more detail into the prompts, the more they will make the responses for you. And there you have it. 17 genius level prompts to boost your productivity with Bing AI. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow AI enthusiasts and comment below with your favorite prompt. Until next time, happy coding.